Hi Techie guys, I'm Nand Kishore Swami and in this tutorial we will be continuing from our previous tutorial uh, part 17 wherein we set up the RPA case on Pega PRPC. So let's get started. Uh, first of all we'll run our uh, package server and the status server and to run the package server and status server go to your uh, PC or the C drive basically. and goes in the program file packet robotic automation and then packet server and then packet server so under the packet server just uh, go to start again go to cmd hit enter and you can check your first ip address ip config So my IP, you can see it's uh, 10.0.0.3. So we'll use this IP to run uh, our packet server first. And to run the packet server, we are using this command. Uh, just the change directory uh, to the packet server directory. And then the uh, under the packet server directory, we are running packet server.exe, then dash dash urls, uh, http, uh, colon, uh, forward slash forward slash then the IP address and the port is 5000 and just hit enter it will start uh, your packet server and then go back to the same folder uh, and just one ba one folder back server status and just update your uh, JSON file uh, which is app setting dot JSON with the your IP address where you are running your packet server so i have updated uh, my ip address here let me change it to three so it's 10.0.0.3 and here also it's three just save it Say yes. So it's saved. Now close your app setting and go back again. Go to the CMT and run the another command like change directory to the uh, server status folder. And from the server status, just run the server status dot exe dash dash urls http colon forward slash forward slash then IP address which is 10.0.0.3 and this time we are running the status server on the port 5050. Just hit the enter, it will start your uh, status server. So to check the status, you can certainly go to your portal internet explorer or any of the explorer and then type http colon forward forward local host or you can type your ip address which is 10.0.0.3 in my case in your case you can make the changes accordingly or you can use local host so once you hit the port with the ip IP address uh, the appropriate URL it should open up your packet server so there you go so you can see it's the IP address in 5050 this is uh, my packet server so our packet server is started now go to change your configuration so first we'll change the common config file so it's in the C drive then program data and then open span folder just open up your common config locate the server and the first one first server robot manager then your uh, url 
uh, since my pegup PRPC is also running on the local system so i have the local host 8080 and pr web then make sure it's enabled to true uh, proxy address blank rpa to true since we would be using the solution uh, for rpa bot so authentication basic workgroup your robot workgroup so this is the same workgroup which we created while building our pega prpc rpa case and then robot machine which is uh, environmental variable name and all other three lines make all the false save the changes and you're done now go to your uh, app data and open span then first runtime config right click add it and locate your robotic section then again uh, in the local api service uh, enable the true ssl ssl true port 9443 allow origin it's stress jw security false url pega url is a local host in my case in your case you can change it appropriately and make make sure your packet server url is also the one with, where we are using to run the packet server port would be by default 5000 and then my ip address in your case you can use your ip address now go to the studio config make the same changes so again locate robotics my base url is all correct and in the packet server url i'll just make the changes to point to the appropriate packet server so we are done making changes in the common config runtime and the studio config runtime and studio config we made changes uh, from app data folder now we'll make the changes same in the uh, 86 folder so program file 86 open span and your if you're running studio then go to the studio if you're using a visual studio plugin then go to the visual studio plugin folder then locate your runtime config go there make the same changes or you can just use the copy paste so the only thing that i changed was just the ip address I'll save it. Yes. And all good. So my runtime config is all okay. Now I'll go to the studio config. Same. Just I look at the robotic section and I'll change the packet server. URL which is my IP address then the port is 5000 so basically I have made the changes in my robotic and studio config file from uh, from both the places in uh, app data and program at six folder and then the common con config file from program data open span folder now I'm good to run my Pega Robotic. So I'll just run the Pega Robotic Studio. So once you make those changes in your common config runtime and studio config file, uh, then it should ask you to enter your uh, connect to server credential. So this would be the same operator ID which we are using to log in our Pega PRPC application. So I'll just using my Pega PRPC credential here and I'll click on login. So it's ideal it should connect with our server, which is our packet server. So once you have your Pega Robotic Studio open, just go to the file and create a new project.
so I'll use uh, or I'll give the project name which is uh, RPA project RPA project or RPA test click on a K it should create a project once you have your project ready just uh, add a GC to your project new item GC add it and in the GC add robot activity now go to the property of the robot activity and our uh, activity name you can make the changes according to your requirement uh, and then the activity name here this should be the same you can find it on your Paga PRPC application if you give, go to your uh, case type and select your case and in the case go to your robot queue and just mouse over and then click on this little triangle Then right click on your robot queue, go to view property, and just copy this robot automation, run robot, uh, robotic automation this should be your activity name so go and paste that activity name there now the class name again go back to your PRPC case click on cancel this would be your class name so you can copy it like there go to the notepad Paste it and then copy only the class name. Then go back to your robotics studio and just paste the class name. Now click on the collection and hit, then enter your uh, PEGA PRPC credential which you use to log in your studio. So it should be the same admin at the rate nks.com then the password click on get case information so ideally it should return with uh, all the information so we have first name last name then city and click on OK. Now go to your automation, select your robotic activity, and then event is activity started. So once we fill any information in our uh, case, this activity would be automatically triggered. Once it is started, we'll display a message box to show the information that we entered on the case so masses dialog box now go back to your automation object explorer select the masses dialog box show information so first we'll display first name 
which is our robotic activities property there we go and display the first name similarly we'll display the second name or the last name again select your robotic activity and the last and we'll supply the city information to update on our case so now select the city so once we display this two information we'll update the city on the case uh, on tiger robotics so let's me make it like uh, delhi and then we'll set the robotic activities status to be completed so set completion status choose the status to complete it or any status which suits to you and then uh, code which you can mention as per your requirement and then messages if you want to add any so this is how we can build our robotic solution to run our rpa cases just save it then build it Once the build is completed, you can publish it on your package server. Either you can click on deploy button or you can choose it from project then deploy project. So how we can make sure it this project can get deployed on the package server? Just having this checkbox, this uh, publish to server checkbox checked. If you uncheck it, this uh, project won't be published on the package server. But if you check it, it would be published on the local system and then package server. So let me click on OK. So it's deploying on package server, previously deployed on local system. So now you can see the the uh, the bot has been deployed on both on the local system and on the uh, packet server. So we can go ahead and check it out. Just click on OK. We're done from uh, our development part on the robotic studio. Now let's go back to your packet server and check if your package is ready there. So just refresh and click on the packet server then store packages and you can see this rp test this is the package that we just published similarly you can also go to your robot manager and see your package there so click on uh, your interface then robot manager and click on packages You should be able to see your package there so that's it in this tutorial in the next tutorial we would be learning about deploying this project on a target machine and running it through rpa case so thanks for watching see you in next video